So what exactly are operands? Operands are numerical text and Boolean values that a program can manipulate. Operands can also be object values. In this case, the operands are 1 and 2 along with the variables x and y. Now, operators are symbols used to manipulate and check operand values. In this case, our operators would be the addition sign and the subtraction sign. Other common signs, such as the multiplication and division symbols, are also operators. Let's take a look at assignment operators. Assignment operators assign a value to its left operand based on the value of its right operand. The simple assignment operator is the equal sign, which assigns the value of its right operand to its left operand. In this case, we are assigning the variable x with the value that is stored in the variable y. Here are some other assignment operators you'll be using in GDScript. You have the additional, subtraction, multiplication, division, and remainder assignments. You can write these out by saying that the value, or rather the operand on the left, will be assigned the values of x plus y. You can also use the shortcut version x plus equals y, which is the same as writing out x is equal to x plus y. On the left side, you'll notice the written out version, and on the right side, you'll notice the shortcut version. These are fairly straightforward assignment operators that do exactly what you see. Addition adds, subtraction subtracts, multiplication multiplies, division divides, and remainder. The remainder assignment operator is a special case operator in which it gives you the value, or rather, the remainder of the division. So if you want the result of the division, you use the division assignment operator. However, if you want the remainder of what you divided by, then you use the remainder assignment operator. You'll most likely never use this unless you're doing something special with it. But just keep in mind, if you want an easy way to get the remainder of your division, this is the operator you will use. Let's take a look at the comparison operators. A comparison operator compares its operands and returns a logical value based on whether the comparison is true. In this case, the logical value will be a Boolean value. Now, to see if two operands are equal, use the equal operator. The equal operator. If you end up using one equal sign, what you're doing is you're assigning the right operand to the left. So just keep that in mind. To see if two operands are not equal, use the not equal operator. In this case, the not equal operator is an exclamation point followed by an equal sign. And what you are trying to convey is if x does not equal to the value on the right, in this case 1. Now if x is equal to 1 and you follow this operator, what you will be returned is the value false. Now, if the value of x is any other value than the number 1, then this operator will return the logical value true. Moving on, to see if the left operand is greater than the right operand, use the greater than operator pointing to the right. In this case, you want to see if the left operand x is greater than the right operand number 1. If x were 2, then this will return true. Now, if x is equal to 1 or any other number that is less than 1, this operator will return false. Moving on, to see if the right operand is greater than the left operand, use the greater than operator pointing to the left. In this case, the greater than operator for the right operand will be using the left arrow symbol. And what you are trying to convey is if the right operand 1 is greater than the left operand x. If x is 0, then this operator will return back true, because 1 will be greater than 0. However, 
If x is 1 or any number greater than 1, then this operator will return false. Moving on, to see if the left operand is greater than or equal to the right operand, use the greater than or equal to operator pointing to the right. The greater than or equal to operator will be the right arrow symbol followed by an equal sign. What you're trying to say is if x is greater than or equal to 1. If x is 1 or any number greater than 1, this operator will return true. However, if x is any number less than 1, then this operator will return false. To see if the right operand is greater than or equal to the left operand, use the greater than or equal to operator pointing to the left. In this case, we're using the left arrow symbol followed by an equal sign. What we're trying to say with this is if 1, the upper end on the right, is greater than or equal to the left upper end. In this case, if x is 1 or any number below 1, then this operator will return true. However, if x is any number bigger than 1, then this operator will return false. Let's move on to the logical operators. In GDScript, there are three logical operators, the AND symbol, the OR symbol, and the NOT symbol. Let's take a look at the AND symbol first. The logical AND operator is denoted by the two ampersand symbols, or the word AND, in GDScript. It will return false as long as any of the operands can be converted to false, starting from the leftmost operand. Let's go ahead and take a look at how the logical operator operates. So we have a variable x which is equal to true, and the logical operator and. So we're checking to see that x and 1 can be converted to true. Now the logical operand will first check to see if the left operand can be converted to false. If it can, the value false will be returned. Otherwise, it will check to see if the second operand can be converted to false. If the second operand can be converted to false, it will return false. Otherwise, it will return true. So let's take a look at how this works. Since variable x is equal to true, our logical AND operator will first check the left operand, in this case the variable x. x can be converted to true, or rather x is true, so therefore the logical operator moves on to the right operand, in this case 1. Now 1 can be converted to true, and because x and 1 are true, our logical operator returns back true. Let's go ahead and see what will happen to the logical operator if our variable x is now false. Now with x being false, our logical operator will first check the left operand and check if it can be converted to false. Since x is false, the logical operator won't even bother checking the right operand. It will just return false. It's good to know how the logical operand operates in your programming. It makes it easier to debug your code when you know which values the logical operand is checking first and then second. Let's move on to the logical operator OR. The logical OR operator is denoted by two vertical bars or the word OR. It will return true as long as any of the operands can be converted to true, starting from the leftmost operand. The difference between the OR and the AND operator is that the OR operator is checking to see if an operand can be converted to true before stopping its operation, whereas the AND operator is checking to see if a operand can be converted to false before stopping its operations. Let's go ahead and see the logical OR operator in action. Now, on the first line, we have declared that a variable x will equal to false. The logical OR operator, now the logical OR operator will first check the left operand and see if it can be converted to true. Now, because x is equal to false, the logical OR operator will then move on to the next operand on the right, in this case, 1. Now, 1 can be converted to true. And because 1 can be converted to true, what our logical operator OR will do is return true. Now let's go ahead and see what the order of operations would look like with this OR operator if our variable x were to be true instead of false. Now because 
our x is now true, the logical OR operator will first check to see if x can be converted to true. Now because x can be converted to true, what our logical OR operator does is it stops all operations and returns true because our logical OR operator is just checking to see if one value can be converted to true. Now I'd like to reiterate that the difference between the logical OR operator and the logical AND operator is that the logical OR operator is checking to see all operands and stops its operations once it can convert a single operand to true and it returns true if it does find an operand that can be converted to true. Whereas the AND operator is trying to see and convert all operands to false because if it can find a single operand that can be converted to false it will stop all operations and return false. Moving on to the last operator, the last logical operator is the NOT operator. It is denoted by the exclamation mark symbol or the word NOT. It can be used to check a single operand and it will return false if its operand can be converted to true. Otherwise, it will return true. A little confusing, but let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. We have a variable x which is equal to false. We use the NOT operator, in this case NOT x, and in this case, since the operand x cannot be converted to true, it will return true. In this case, because x is false, and because false cannot be converted to true, our NOT operator will return true. Let's go ahead and take a look at what our operand returns if our variable x were to have the value true. In this case, since the value of true is converted to true in this NOT statement, what we return is false. An easy way to think about it is if whatever your value can be converted to in a logical value, whether your value can be converted to true or false, just return the opposite. The more you understand values and what they can be converted to, the easier time you will have with this logical operator NOT. An easy way to think about this is if you have the zero false or null, your value in the NOT operator will always be true and everything else will be false.